What are you waiting for? Come join me. Smallville is what started the, what I like to call, the DC TV renaissance era. Like, it's people out here that only, when they when they think about DC TV, they only think about the CW. But no, I literally watched every single DC TV show that was on television. Like, I didn't miss anything. They were talking about Powerless. Okay, yeah, every it may have been corny, but I, I, I watched every episode. Be, I mean, I knew it wasn't going to last. Like, when it got canceled, I was like, oh, this is not a surprise because this show is pretty goofy. But, hey, it is what it is, right? But, like, some of my earliest memories of, like, getting into, like, DC and getting into wanting to review it started with, like, started back with, like, Arrow. And, honestly, I did not want to get into Arrow. Because I thought that once I found out, oh, this isn't a direct spinoff of Smallville, they're going to mess it up. Because I had that mindset that, oh, this is the CW. It's going to be low budget, yada, yada, yada. I was one of those people that I now hate and loathe with a passion. I was one of those people. But it was, uh, well, my girlfriend at the time, which is now my wife, she convinced me to watch it. And then I saw the set photos of uh, the first season of The Flash, which is honestly where I started watching. I didn't watch Arrow until the third season. And I went on Netflix and I binged the first two seasons because I wanted to be caught up in time for the season premiere of The Flash. I literally still remember the season premiere of The Flash. I remember the day I watched it. I remember what we were doing. Um, we were getting ready to go out for a birthday party and it came on television. I'm like, we got to wait for a second because I want to check this out. I fell in love with The Flash. Like, that's, I'm like, okay, yeah, the CW, the CW knows what they're doing. And it was just, Yes, yes, uh, yes, Darren. Win wife, yes. Um, nobody wants to call me on Twitter right now, Daniel. But um, it's just watching the Flash and bring getting that you know getting that love, like getting that love for DC TV. And yes, Cameron, you're right. I Zombie was a DC TV show as well. It's like I said, it's so many shows that people didn't know were DC. That was a DC offshoot from Vertigo. Which is another reason why I started watching that show. I Zombie is goaded. That show was freaking hilarious. It had great storytelling, great writing, and it was a DC TV show, guys. We had so much DC TV at the time. The CW was dominating DC TV, and then you had other networks like Sci Fi jumping in. And then with Black, when when they announced Black Lightning, I was I was happy as hell. If I could go back to find my other, if I could go back to find my other Facebook page and like it gets around to like September, October when that show is about to premiere. I was posting about it every day. I was posting every post that came out, every cast announcement that came out. I was posting about it every single day. I was so happy we were finally getting Black Lightning when I found out that it wasn't actually going to be in the universe because originally it was a Fox show. I already knew in my mind, I'm like, they're going to put them together one day. They're going to put them together. And then once they announced that he was coming to the CW and they did that big old, um, that big old video shoot, like the uh, like the suit up thing, and it like ended, and then it was like a post credit to the commercial where it's like, oh, you guys just forget about the new guy. Oh, I was hype as hell because I'm like, this is finna be something, and then boom, here comes crisis, and we get that unconventional as hell announcement. <laughs> it was Chris sharing, oh, we got this covered article on Instagram <laughs> announcing that he's gonna be in crisis, and I'm like, should we believe this? I'm like, is, is this legit? I'm like, does Chris know we can't believe we got this covered? Like, it, it's weird. Like, yes, Darren, I'm just getting, I'm getting my thoughts out. Taj has his own story with how he fell in love with DC TV. But, yeah, like, go go ahead, Taj. You tell you, I could go on and on because it's just like, <laughs> it's the end of the era. It's the, it's literally an end of an era. Soon is like, and I'm not even counting Harley Quinn. I, Honestly, I stopped watching it, and I can't bring myself to go back after I, I found out the what they season. did in this 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 past season. I can't bring myself to go back, but like after Superman killed, and I was done. Yeah, yeah, and now he's like back, and it's supposed to be like the injustice, like Dead Man Nightwing. I I, oh, I, I don't, I'm confused. I don't know what they're doing. Um, but it's just like every single DC TV show I was locked in, whether it be Arrowverse, whether it be Arrowverse adjacent. Whether it be DC Universe slash HBO Max, I was locked in. 
Like, like what, 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 what's, what's your stories? Like how you, how did you get started in like the DC TV landscape? Mine is actually opposite of yours. So you thought it was going to be a spinoff of Smallville or whatever. And you thought it was going to be cheap, but was you, you said you was looking forward to it or something like that. I, I thought because it was going to be Smallville? cheap, but I was, I was, um, when I thought it was going to be a spinoff of Smallville, I was looking forward to it. But then when I found oh, okay. out they, they, I didn't know who Stephen Emil was. I'm like, I, I don't know this guy. This is not Green Arrow. Justin Hartley is Green Arrow. Like, that was oh, my okay. whole. So I was the opposite because I didn't watch Smallville. So I thought it was a, a spinoff and I, I immediately was turned off. I was like, <laughs> I'm not watching this. I was like, he looked goofy. He looked stupid. I mean, obviously, I'm a kid in the 2000s. So, like, yeah. watching Smallville, you see pictures back then. It'd be like, yo, this looks stupid. Like, I was like, Power Rangers look better than this. In terms of, like, the suits and stuff. I was like, I'm not watching that. And uh, my little brother, he was watching Arrow. I think it was, like, the season two premiere. He was watching on the CW app. And all I saw was Oliver just like body somebody, and I'm like, "What's going on?" I was like, "What's this?" And he was like, "It's Arrow." I was like, "The Smallville show?" He was like, "Nah, it's his own thing." And I was like, "Oh, so like from that point on, I started watching like Arrow." I do nothing about the Flash show because I wasn't heavy on social media. I randomly was eating dinner in the living room one day and was flicking through the channels, and and uh. Flash was on, like the premiere was on that day. Like I ended up finding it on the premiere. And I thought it was the old one until it said 2014. And I was like, oh, so this new. And I was like, hey, that's him from Arrow, the episode. I didn't know they was doing a backdoor pilot. I wasn't, you know, on social media looking at like Canada graphs and stuff like that yet. So that's pretty much how I got into it. Um, I just kept watching from that point. Well, Obviously, of- you know. Yeah, but Black speaking Lightning, of Canada graphs, Canada, like that's that's the one thing I'll miss. Like he may have had potato, like potato quality photos at the time, but like, but that's what made it so like. Hype, Canada though. graphs got us hype as hell. Right. He got us hype as hell. He had all the, all the good stuff. Like I miss that. I miss from freaking July to October, like. The anticipation for what we were gonna see, especially Dude, on the CW, like when the they first when they first dropped the pictures for like Earth X, I was losing my goddamn mind. I was like, "Dude, what is going on?" I was so hyped for Earth Earth X. That's still my favorite crossover. Yeah, like, yeah. Watching like, that, especially like around that time the Justice League movie had came out, I was like, "This is leagues better than Justice League." Like, yeah. What the hell? Yep. And that, and that's why I always would say, like, and I stand by this to this day. Marvel's TV shows back in the day that like would air on like a, like network network television, aside from Agents of Shield, aside from that, because Agents of Shield will always be goaded. Yeah, I, I actually just started rewatching. I'm on yeah. season two. Like like DC DC bodies like when it comes to television and animation, they always were a step ahead, and it's just like. Like like seeing those set photos. Like I went back through some of Canada Graph's blogs just to get that feel. When they dropped the first images for season four, and we saw Wally in the flash suit, and we didn't oh, know yeah. what we didn't know what the hell was going. I remember being in my apartment with my wife, and Canada Graphs posted them photos at like eight o'clock at night for me. I jumped off my couch and I screamed because I didn't know what was going on. I saw that picture and was like, Wally looks stupid in Barry's outfit. I was like, what is this? <laughs> but I thought it was like leading to him getting his own. So I was like, yeah. okay. And then so that, Wally's season, gonna be that season, season completely disappointed us. But yeah. yeah, it is what it is. No, when Canada Grass first posted those photos. Hot take. Oh. I think I think Grant looks better in that suit than Tom does. Oh, definitely. I don't care what they say. They like when he wore it in. What was that event? The uh the Armageddon. Um, Armageddon. They made like that when suit he for had Grant. it on. I was like, "Yo, Grant looked good in this suit." But Tom looks better in Grant's flash suit. It's, oh. it's, he has the comic book without physique. without the cow on. Yes, without the cow on. Yeah, he His has the comic book. Kind of weird. Yeah, but he has the comic book physique 
Yeah, so yeah, he yeah, was definitely. standing next to him. He was standing in front of Barry. He was, he was way bigger. When we seen when we seen those photos for the first time, I said, "Dude, he is massive." But it's like every year, no matter what, especially especially leading into crisis, when we were finding out, like, okay, yeah, this is gonna be tight end. This is gonna be tight end. This is gonna be tight end. The stuff with Titans, Titans. I don't care what nobody says. Titans, what Titans may not have been the best show, but it gave a Titans basically was just Bat Family. I don't, I, I, it was Bat Family, but it gave us. I loved the Robin suits when they did the Tim Drake's Robin suit reveal. Oh, first of all, oh, yeah. that video, that video blew up for me on TikTok and YouTube. That short that I posted, that was Tim Drake's. Tim Drake's suit was goaded. I don't care what nobody say. He had the best Robin suit. Uh, when they revealed the Nightwing suit, the internet went crazy. When they revealed yeah. that the best episode of Titans from season two, I think the best episode of all the is the Connor episode. reveal. Is the Superboy episode? Yeah, that Superboy episode was crazy. Oh my gosh! <laughs> like, that, like that, it was just dope. And it then, was so good. And then it's like season four is when the show really hit its stride, especially the premiere. It felt good. Like, like it, it felt like it felt good. Like uh, going through all of like the stuff with like um when they were trying to do like uh the Joker kills Robin and all of that. Like that was cool, but oh yeah, that then was you find three. out, yeah, like season three, season three was cool till you find out oh scarecrow's behind it. No, the first couple of episodes was good. Like the yeah. three episode premiere for season three was good. I was like, finally, like, like that, like Titans. Titans is the found first... its Titans has found its footing. Yeah, Superboy but... did need a spinoff, Darren. But oh, Titans yeah, is like one of the first comics I ever read, and so when we was getting a Titan show, I was so hyped for it, and yep. it 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 let me down. And yeah, some episodes but... were good. I just but the, the episode one show that didn't that let us down. Oh, Star Girl. Star Girl and Doom Patrol. I gotta finish Doom Patrol. I stopped watching Dude. after like season two or whatever. Dude, but Star you Girl, watch... I had the lowest expectations for it until I really the premiere. I didn't like. I was like Star Girl. I was like, mm. but then like the more I kept hearing, I was like, oh, Justice Society stuff, cool. And then when they dropped the premiere, I remember waking up early in the morning because I had DC Universe when like it first dropped. I made my account and everything, and I watched it, and I was like, okay. I was hey, like, it looked good. Star Girl's like, premiere good. episode, the first episode for Star Girl is freaking amazing. Was, the best pilot confused. ever for a DC TV show, and I'm standing yeah. on that. I'm I, standing I was like, on that. I was like, people are gonna be so confused watching this because that the first season aired like the episode would air first on DC Universe, then it would go to CW. Yeah. And I was like, so are people gonna think this is? I mean, this is back when the Arrowverse was still good, so. I was real confused that like my dad came to me. He was like, "Hey, that Star Girl show is that like a spinoff of something?" Or I was like, "Nah, it's this his own thing." Well, at the time, it yeah. was his own thing. Bro, like I, I'm not, I'm not even kidding you. Especially they they released that at that point during like the COVID shutdowns where we just needed mm -hmm. something, and that literally that got us through. That got us through. Especially me, I remember. Just sitting at the crib and watching Star Girl, I would watch it. Um, I would I watch my, it. I got my sister, got my sister to watch it. She she's not even a big like superhero fan, and like I told her, I was like, "Hey, this Star Girl show, out you want to watch it?" Because they watched Young Justice with me at least at the time when it was airing, and I was like, "This Star Girl show, out you want to watch it?" She was like, "Yeah." She fucking loved it. She was like, "When mm -hmm. is the next episode?" And I was like, "What day was it coming out on?" Like Star Girl, was, uh, it, was it was Sundays. Days. The, for the what first season, it was Sundays. It yeah, was it Sundays was like Sunday on DC Universe. Monday. It was some weird day. No, was it was like, like super it late. It was super late Sunday going into <clears throat> Monday. And I'm like, I got to be at work at 5 a.m., but I'm staying up to watch this. How dare you just come on stream and just eat a donut? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, listen, bro. That that made me that made me salivate a little bit. I'm, I'm hungry. <laughs> I he brought that from work. Eat. He brought that from mm -hmm. work. That's what it was. Yep. But listen, there ain't nothing wrong with that. But and let's not. Since you brought up Young Justice, let's not forget how Young oh, Justice yeah. made its comeback during this DC TV era. Yes, man. I was so hyped when they yeah. announced it. That was insane. Like, I, yeah, I'm mad. I'm mad. They're not bringing it. This last got canceled season, again. 
This last season had they're not I, even officially canceled. They're just exactly. like not getting another season. <laughs> and with that cliffhanger, oh my Bro, god! Don't get I'm me started. I was pissed. I'm still mad about it. Bro. Oh, I was I'm pissed. Still mad. I was pissed. Yo, the Flash season eight premiere was so good. Like, I'm, oh my god, that first episode of Armageddon was, was it, it was hype. Yeah. Yo, when I, I saw the behind the scenes seven. pictures, yeah, <laughs> I had the lowest expectations yeah. going into season eight. And then Canada Grass dropped the pictures for like the first couple episodes, and I saw mm. Ray and and I was like, they're doing Despero. I was like, okay, I'm kind of hyped yeah. for this. Do you remember? Oh, like, hey, I I literally I the remember. Yep, I remember the day that they announced that it was gonna be like like that they gave it a title Armageddon and announced who was gonna be in it because we were all over Twitter like speculating. Oh yes, it's a crossover. They're not calling it a crossover, but it's gonna be a crossover. It's uh, a crossover. Such and such is gonna be in. It. Uh, I, yeah. I I think such and such is gonna be. In. I think they're gonna bring him in. I think they're gonna bring like it was so much chatter going around the internet just yeah. over this event as a whole. The gold boots reveal. The gold. The gold boots reveal. <laughs> the gold boots reveal. The gold boots <laughs> reveal. When they revealed that at um during the last official, uh, what what was it called? The yeah. little the, the little DC thing that they did. What was it called? I forgot. Fandom? Why can I think it, of the it, name? Was it, of it? Was it fandom? Yeah. Fandom. Yeah. Fandom. Fandom. Yeah. I watched that whole thing. Me too. When they yeah, revealed, I was when, mad. I was mad when they did that because they dropped the episodes for Young Justice. They when dropped, they, re- they dropped like the first three episodes of Young Justice for season three, and I was like, "Why would you do that while I'm watching this <laughs> event?" Now I gotta go react to them and then come back. I was pissed when they revealed the gold boots and the fact that Grant Grant was so tired in that video when they revealed it. He was. They had he people was on it, the, and then, then then you got the little internet troll. Yep, you could tell he's done. Like he he he, he could tell he's <laughs> over it. Dude, he just got done filming a scene, and they got this man going in his trailer to 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 record a video that's not gonna air for like three months. Yeah, You're right. But yeah, he wants to quit. Yeah, sure, we're gonna think that. Uh, Eric, Darren, we're just we're just giving our since it's coming to the end of this like DC TV era, as I like to call it, like as we know it, going leading into guns, uh, DCU, everything. We're just mm-hmm. talking about like. Just like how since Smallville, like DC TV has been like on the rise and no matter the lows, it's still been like some of the best superhero television that we've had outside of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And uh, and uh, Daredevil. Yeah. Respectively. You got to put the respect on the two goats. Got to put the respect there. But um, yeah. like I, I asked I asked Taj, uh, Darren, what, what's your I know we've talked about this before, but it's like what mm-hmm. what really locked you in to like everything dc everything dc tv in general yeah so i i mean i started with flash um i think when i jumped in we were they had just finished season one no i think they just finished season two of the flash um and i binged the flash on netflix the first season i was like who's this green hooded guy i don't know who this weirdo is then i but like then my kind of introductory was weird because arrow supergirl legends was all on like Netflix, as I'm watching through them, so I'm watching them all at once. Like I'm watching how, all four how shows. How old were you? Oh gosh, like seventh grade. Because you're younger than us. So. Seventh grade, I think. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Man. That is insane. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. I and and then, but like during the Flash season three, I think is when I really got like absorbed into it. Like that. Like as, as controversial, I think as season three is like you love it, you hate it. Some people are kind of in the middle. That season for me was one of the most hype in the Flash's run. Like, you had two crossover events. Who is Savitar? You have three, sometimes four different yep. speedsters on the show at the same time. Constant uh, cameos and references to other shows. Gorilla City, two-part Gorilla City. Oh, that like, was crazy. Oh, they did yeah. such cool things that season. And it has issues, let's be honest. Season three has its issues. But just just being able to talk about the show in that era was so much fun. <laughs> Like yeah. I like I wish that we were all doing this like podcast type stuff then because that would have been insane to talk about every week. Eric was, but we weren't. <laughs> oh, speaking oh. speaking of Eric, actually, one of the first videos I ever watched of his was the invasion one, and he had like the thumbnail with the uh, the little Star Labs building in the background. I automatically <laughs> thought it was the uh, the Justice League. What's the Justice League uh, place? I thought it was that. And I was Hall like, oh Justice. my god, yeah, the Hall of Justice. I was like, dude, what are we about to get? <laughs> 
No, I'm not gonna lie. Every, like that's that's another thing that I'm missing about like this era is like between him and Pagey, I knew as soon as the episodes ended, reviews going up. And that's wow. when they were doing the after party, literally right after the episodes. After so I'm like, I'm like, okay, let me cut my TV off. Let me go on my phone and pull up YouTube because I know we're getting an in-depth review. Like yeah, all the reviewers yeah. back then, oh, yeah. I had something to listen to for the entire week because they all had their own theories yeah. like about every show. That's that like, got me. That got me through the night shift. Them doing the after parties <laughs> at night. They got me through the night shift. I worked in Amazon at the time. I was like, dude. Oh yeah. I um, um it's the only thing getting me through. Yeah, I miss the the era of like more um I don't know, I guess I don't want to call it serious TV, but like where the shows weren't just comedy, you know what I mean? Like yep. greatly written That's kind of what drew me away from Legends. Like by the time we got to yeah. Legends season 4, um it wasn't fun for me. I was watching it and I'm like there's nothing to talk like how do you how do you realistically talk about what's going to happen when the show is so wild? You yeah. know what I mean? Like when stuff is just Anything can happen when you have Damian Dark dancing to Return of the Mac. I mean, like, as much as I love that scene, how do you discuss that, like, realistically? You know what I mean? Like, we could talk about it, but you can't theorize. That's the one thing I loved about the early seasons of Arrow and Flash was every season you had mysteries that you're trying to figure out, and it mm -hmm. made it fun. And then after, like, season four of The Flash, that went away. The, the yeah. whole mystery thing went away. Yep. I mean, we kind of got it back in season five with the whole Eobard stuff, and I think that's what made that fun. But yeah, overall, I think the the big thing, the Eric Wallace era of Flash that bothers me is there was there wasn't a lot of mystery. Um, yeah, and that kind of sucks. Uh, which is one thing I loved about Arrow, but then the problem is Arrow had season four, and <laughs> season four <laughs> pretty much killed that Ooh. momentum. So luckily, we had Prometheus, and that kind of brought it back. But then, you yeah. know, it was it was stumbling after that. But it was, yeah, I look back at this. Yeah, but I, I love that era. Like, I was excited. I'll be straight up. I was excited about the show ending. I would hit up Pagey on social media. I'm like, look, we have to get this stuff ready for the, you know, for the podcast. Yeah. I'd go in and i download. Because back then, you would get, like, 10 promo pictures. you get really, like, 10 uh -huh. high-quality, like, promo pictures. I would download all the promo pictures. I would get so mad when they weren't out yet. Because I'm like, why the fuck are these promo <laughs> yeah. pictures not out yet? So I would get those promo pictures so I could show them during the streams and stuff like that. I used to love doing that stuff. And then yeah. as time went on, it got to be a, a bit of a mess because I wasn't really watching Legends. I thought Legends was a little like the last couple seasons of Legends. I wasn't really into it. Um, Emergency Awesome stopped making videos about the Flash. I think around season four. Yeah, yeah. yeah like stopped season, talking about it then. around the time Nora came in. Like yeah. around yeah. that time. Probably for the same reason that I'm talking about now is that he likes to do yeah. like breakdowns and stuff like that, and you can't really look. I'm all for funny stuff. Look, one of the things I love about Doom Patrol is Doom Patrol was just wild and wacky, but it's not a show you can review properly in my opinion you can't really yeah. review that show because every episode is like oh i love this i love this i love this what are they going to do well who knows because they could literally do anything because the show doesn't have a sense of reality and so that's kind of the weird thing is surrealism is hard to review which is why like mm -hmm. everything everywhere all at once as much as i love that movie that movie is wacky as fuck it's hard to review that movie because it's just such a weird movie i don't know if you've seen it or not but it's a weird movie yeah, but that's maybe. what i think about a lot of stuff um and honestly if you think back the success of some of the marvel stuff on Disney Plus was because of the whole like fan theories about who's going to show up and everything yep. and the shows that didn't have that didn't do well it's no surprise to yeah. me like Ms. Marvel didn't perform as well or Hawkeye didn't perform as well except for the stuff about Kingpin and Daredevil because of the fact that people just kept yeah. theorizing who was going to show up and when you didn't have that kind of hype it it hurts the the fandom so I think one of the things that hurt DC TV was that they got away from sort of having those yeah. cool mysteries you know and yeah it sucks I will me. I will also say it is. I think if some, even when they had mysteries, we knew about the mysteries like in advance, either from yeah. the trailers or photos that you know were put out. Or Canada graphs. I mean, Red <laughs> yeah, Death. Yeah, Canada graphs. Yeah. Like, but, like if we just had Red Death, it could have been like, okay, is it Bruce Wayne? It would. It would never gonna be Bruce right. Wayne. But, but, but like you could theorize: is it Bruce Wayne? Is it Wallace Day? Is it Kate Kane? Is it Ryan? I think. You I know, think Luke, by, you know, by the time we got like, Red Death, it was too obvious, though. Yeah. I mean, I, I agree. Like, obvious. that's what I would have said it was. But there's still that, like, speculation within the thing. Yeah. Like, maybe it's Cara Danvers from Earth 750. Like, we don't, you, you know yeah. what I mean? I was complaining on, on Twitter. I was complaining <laughs> that people are sharing these set photos from Deadpool. Oh, and I'm, I'm like. I'm so mad about that. Yeah, yeah. I got spoiled on the. the Me too. I was it. really it mad. Nice to see that. I was I, I, Look, I'm not going to say it here because I don't know how many people in the chat haven't seen it yet. Right. But that's why I didn't yeah. say it. I honestly 
I rarely get mad about spoilers because I typically just I'm so numb yeah. to it anymore that I don't care. Mm -hmm. But I'm that really looking forward to Deadpool, Deadpool 3. spoilers are too. Yes. They're going too far. Yeah, Deadpool that 3 me to off. me. Yeah, it's one of those things where I would have loved to have seen that happen in the movie without mm. being spoiled. I actually think spoilers have hurt movies. I think the Flash movie was yeah. hurt by spoilers. I think a lot of these movies are hurt by spoilers because people are leaking stuff so early. I don't know what they can do to stop this, like be more restrictive on like where they film, like set locations or yeah. whatever. But I'm just so over getting spoiled and everything instantly. Scoop, I, I hate the Scoop era. I hate it. I hate yeah. it. Yes. yes. And it's like, it's like with that, like during like the during like the height of the DC TV era, that type of stuff was cool because yes, we had Canada graphs in like well in Vancouver getting stuff like that, but we didn't get those spoilers for Titans. We didn't get those spoilers for the shows filmed in Atlanta. Black right. Lightning, we didn't know what was gonna happen. No, and the stuff that happened in Black Superman Lightning, Lois. Uh, yeah. Superman and Lois, we don't. The only spoiler we got for that was Superboy, the first look at Clark suit. Which Canada Graphs apparently took on a um, uh, Nokia phone <laughs> with a uh, toilet paper roll attached to the camera. <laughs> and first of all, the fact that everybody was online and <laughs> trying to blow the picture up and like bring it into HD so we could just, I think this is like the, the new 52 suit mixed with a little rebirth. It's darker. <laughs> I said, why can't we just wait till we get it? But yeah. it's like, well, look, I, I don't mind spoilers that are like not that are vague. Like if you see a, a set photo that like you can see a leg behind like a trailer or something <laughs> that kind of <laughs> doesn't tell you exactly what it is. I'm like, okay, those are fun. But the is stuff we're seeing for Deadpool leg? is yeah. not. Yeah. The Deadpool that's, spoilers that's are hard. not fun. And I've already put like Deadpool has already been in the muted words on my uh, on my mm -hmm. on my fucking oh, wow. okay. Twitter now. It's like I'm not taking any chances because I have a feeling we're, this is not the last big spoiler we're going to see. No, um, nope. from Deadpool. So, nope. but but that era of DC TV where we we kind of got set photos, but we didn't always know what they meant. One of the yeah, biggest right. mysteries for me, and I and this is what really blew my channel up, was the man in the iron mask that mystery yeah. from yeah. season two yes. so good. blew my channel up that like my channel went from like 5,000 subscribers to 15,000 subscribers in like that one season because of just that mystery. But that was one of those mysteries where we didn't have any scoopers spoiling it. Nobody knew no, who that right. character was right. Literally it was just until the finale. <laughs> yeah. It was great. Can you all remember, like just speaking of that moment, can you all remember like how you felt when like they took that off and then we realized like we're getting Whoa. we're diving <laughs> deeper i'm like oh I, like i was freaking out like, I ran around yeah. the house. oh my god it's so... i can oh tell you god, right now I, I will say this and and Paige and i've argued about this i prefer season two over season one of the flash as a season i do um, too I, I do too i yeah so yeah. i i think it's got better episodes in it i think season yeah. one is the is a better like if you're just gonna have one season of a show like where a story that perfect begins one and season. Ends or whatever yeah season yeah. one is the perfect one and i think it's great because you get to meet the characters all that stuff but i think like there's very rarely a season two of a series where they do so good compared to season one and season two of the flash it's from great. a yeah. comic book standpoint the way they weaved that story together with the Jay Garrick uh, freak out, um, you know, fake out or whatever, the whole thing, the man in the iron mask, who is Zoom? How does he do what he does? You know, yeah. he's dragging Barry down the fucking street by his Dude. neck. Like, just that kind of stuff. That it's was great. crazy. Hey, but Kai is right about this. There is no other mystery in the Arrowverse bigger than Prometheus. Had Prometheus everyone had guessing and theorizing, rolling. and everyone was wrong. I remember when Arrow tried to trick everyone into thinking it's Quentin. I do too. Uh, like, <laughs> I do too. I didn't know people thought that. That's hilarious to me that they thought it was. Yeah, because he woke up with the uh, <laughs> with the little star or whatever, and I was like, "That's so no. clearly That's a not Quinn, is it? No, but they they played that so well because yeah, how right. do you cast you cast a guy as Adrian Chase, and we and then that's when you introduce Vigilante, <gasps> who was who wasn't Adrian Chase, right? So like that. Right. that I feel like the vigilante was the biggest problem with that whole season, though. That story was dumb. No, if but they didn't reveal who it was, and they would have just kept him six, like yeah. if they would if they wouldn't have done that dumb thing to try to get um what what was it? Diana? Diana, Diana, Diana yeah. trying to get trying to give her a storyline, a <laughs> yeah. forced storyline. It's like Arrow, how can you go from ass 
to peak. I feel like the, the mistake I, they made with her was they were like, oh, we got rid of Black Canary. Now everybody hates us. So we need to bring yeah, in another Black dumb. Canary. Yeah. So they brought her in and then they're like, oh, well, we're just going to bring Katie Cassidy back as Earth 2 uh, Black Black. Siren. It should have just been Earth 2 to start with. Like people yeah. would, yes. wouldn't even yes. have a big issue. Actually, that. they shouldn't have killed her off. I agree. Although I, I, I like Earth 2 better. Okay, okay, I, okay, I, prefer yeah, Earth better. I was going to yeah. say what Darren said. Like, as much as I hate that they killed her off, Earth 2 Laurel was a much better it's character than I Earth wish they would have just written Laurel like that in the first exactly. place. Exactly. Yeah. Season yeah. 8 Laurel too. is peak. I think she's yeah. so good in season 8. Yeah. That trio of her, Oliver, and Diggle, I it's wish so we good. had that the whole show. It's so I was good, like, yeah. oh my gosh. Add Roy in there and it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, Laurel's story Roy. was just done. Don't forget that from Dad Mark. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was stupid. When he put that on Twitter, I was like, really? I mean, Mark Guggenheim said a lot of dumb stuff. Yeah, like, like we we've dealt with our share of like horrible directors and showrunners throughout all of DC TV. Like we said earlier, with Krypton season two was just boring as hell. Like the Brainiac design on Krypton season two, <laughs> I love it. I love it. Seeing Lobo, yeah, I, I like that's the only I, episode I'm I watched. Like Lobo was cool, <laughs> but it's just like that was scrawny Lobo, like. I want to see big like that's why I'm I I kind of hope Jason Momoa will be Lobo in like yeah in some I future iteration of he, the DCU. He fits the character. Yeah, I don't see a reason why he wouldn't by this point. Like yeah. he think he, he wants to be Lobo. Everyone else already thinks he's Lobo. Just make him Lobo. Like there's no reason <laughs> yeah, not just to go ahead do it. Just go ahead. Do yeah, it. just do it. Like no, if no, he's hot, not Lobo, everyone will be like, wait, why? Like <laughs> hot take. Don't do Lobo. <laughs> hot take. He's been lying at the end of. The post credit scene for Aquaman 2 will be him like walking out on screen just just in full logo costume. Do you think costume. there will be one now? It, oh, they better I not. I can't see them doing an Aquaman 3. <laughs> like, I, I really can't. I'm going to call it right he's now. Done. He's done. I, I have a bad feeling about Aquaman 2. I don't think it's going to do well. I don't well. think it's going to be good. Either. I don't think yeah. it's going to oh, do gonna... well. No. Like, I, no, I think it's going to be good because the first Aquaman was good. So. But I don't think it's going to do well in the box really office because that. people just don't care anymore. I feel like this is one of those movies where they've done cut and paste because they've tried to reshoot yeah. so much stuff that mm -hmm. it's just going to be a mess. Because I remember back last year when they showed, I think it was like a the, the trailer or maybe even a clip from the movie at CinemaCon. A lot of the people that saw it came out and said that it was bad. They're like, the yeah. last act was really bad. Um, it was just a really confusing mess yeah. of of fight scenes or whatever um and they basically redid that i guess because it's not continuing beyond you know this movie yeah 